So basically, we got some nasty looking black whispers going up against the planet in the life stream. And these whispers are with Sephiroth, right? Yeah. At least, that's how it looked to me while I was in there. And? Any idea who was winning? Could you tell? The planet. The life stream. Us. Well, of course we are. What did you expect? This is the planet we're talking about. Y'all know she's gonna pour her heart and soul into this fight. Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. She knows Sephiroth ain't going down easy, and that she needs others to step up. But we're the only ones who can, don't you see? We need to commit, put our lives on the line to save hers. You in? Yeah. You bet we are. <clears throat> huh? Wow. What have I walked in on? You know, there are places better suited to these kinds of conversations. Like Cosmo Canyon. The home of planetology. It's right around the corner, isn't it? And do they have materia there? Because <laughs> if they do, I am in. Like, all in. <laughs> Since time immemorial, it has been a place for both planetary energies and ancient wisdom. Of course we... Say no more! Let's ride, people! <laughs> wow, Red. What's got you so excited? <laughs> I grew up there. <laughs> that settles it. We've got ourselves a pilgrimage to make. <laughs> While it won't be an easy trek, this ought to speed things up. A free flyer pilot works out of an old airstrip nearby. He can take you part of the way. Use the south gate and follow the trail. You can't miss it. And I should... <laughs> this here is Fango. He's taking quite a liking to you. Sure he'd be more than happy to give you guys a lift. Thanks, Disney, for everything. The pleasure was all mine. And if you need anything else, just ask around the village. You know, we should probably take a look at the town notice board. See if there are any jobs for us. Always fancied trying my hand as a merc. Don't forget no to try some of our homegrown programs. There's the spring thought. Time, boys. And I, I just want to go away. Help my pals out where I can. I swear. Think we can do without your kind of help, you Shinra bootlicker. Still can't find it in your heart to trust me, eh? Ah, the way we snuggled up last night, I thought we'd made a breakthrough. <coughs> I only did that, because I thought you were Marlene. Don't go making it weird. So, what are free flyer pilots exactly? Well, since the Republic's on the scrap heap, Shinra all but owns the skies. Birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Free flyers couldn't they care less though, and go wherever they please. Good for them. Nobody owns the sky, least of all Shinra. That our man gives him the finger as he flies by. For real? Sounds like my kind of guy.
wherever you are. Velociraptor detected. Oh, <laughs> 
Like we found the airstrip or what's left of it yeah it's definitely seen better days you can say that again it's more crater than runway are you kidding me so we came here for nothing maybe not see that oh or a public telephone booth eh? what do we look Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. This is taking too long, but I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane, follow the smoke! Come to, Come me. to me, airplane, airplane follow, follow the smoke! The smoke. Seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you we got? Oh, too many. <sighs> but the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to y'all pony up. Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Gotta make sure my baby's balanced just so. Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out and you're on your own. Go Airlines, Santa Island. Pleasure having you aboard. 
admit, I didn't expect to find a willing participant. <laughs> you are truly a model soldier, my boy. I'd hold still if I were you. We wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Once, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light. Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to you. The veil's this way.
Shawnee, that you? Who's Shawnee? One of your chocobos? Did they run away from home? <laughs> My apologies. I don't believe we've met. I'm Kamaria, the owner. <laughs> so, Shawnee's your bird? Goodness, no. Shawnee's my daughter. She's a chocobo jackie, or was, till she fell off her mount during a race. <sighs> Since then, she's completely lost her nerve. Refuses to get back in the saddle. I see. Oh! Tell me, you kids any good at riding? Yeah, we dabble. Wonderful! In that case, how would you like to use my training course? I had everything built brand new just for Shawnee, but now it's going to waste. Someone ought to put it to good use, don't you think? And who better than you young go-getters? I don't know. Ever run a ring course? It's simple. You strap yourselves in and fly through a series of hoops. I reckon you won't find a course like mine anywhere else. Whoa! That sounds amazing! <laughs> You want to try it, right? Imagine how jealous everyone will be. Sure. But first, you'll need to catch yourself a chocobo. One that isn't afraid of heights. A fine bird like Apony ought to do you, though. Go ahead and ride her over to the training course. Twisting paths and bewildering brushlands. She'll guide you through it all with ease.
Good bird. Easy girl, we got you. Sick on Chocobac. Amazing, isn't it? It's like my Chocobo and I share one mind, one body, one soul. Uh -huh. Or maybe my body just hates shimmer cars, trains, and boats. They ought to find a way to make the ride smoother for their stuff. Put R&D to work. Think they got other priorities. That's true. seem to find me, no matter where I go. Aha! Let me guess. You're... Shani? <sighs> you were talking with your mom earlier. She said you weren't using the training facility she built. Figured if you're not up for it, then we could give Apony her exercise. <sighs> no! Don't! We'll bring her back. <laughs> Alright, it's settled. And Chocobo Whisperer Yuffie gets first dibs!
<laughs> you know, if I were racing at the gold saucer, I'd bet on me. Don't let it go to your head. I could do what you just did in my sleep. Before you start talking big, you gotta at least finish the other regiments first. Gonna move the goalposts, huh? Fine, I'll take whatever you throw at me. Sephiroth's come back from the dead, right? And that that's a bad thing. So, what I want to know is, how'd he do? And what's he after? He wants to save the planet. But, wouldn't that make him a good guy? It's not what he's doing with us. I'm ready for you! <laughs> Ship dropped these on us this morning. 
wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the sanctum of planetology, Cosmo Canyon. Weapons for anything unsavory. I wonder if that book I special ordered has The history of Magnata books can be traced back to Cosmo Canyon itself. Planet bless you with wisdom. here, in this canyon. I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. 
Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on! Can't forget that materia! As for me... Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. like we did, they'd have no choice but to acknowledge how bad it really is. Folks around here, though, they get it. They want what's best for our planet. You can see it in their eyes. Wonder if it ain't too late to recruit them to Avalanche. If you ask me, planetology's the future. Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? The canyon's also famous for its unparalleled view of the starry night sky. I made sure to bring all my night photography equipment along. Can't sleep until I've got the perfect starlit shot. Just let me know if you find any good photo spots. These are the friends I was talking about. 
Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Mama King? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance. It is, in fact, a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. And yet, it's like you're singing to me of the fall. Don't you worry, my dear. I'll find a way to bring out the full depth. Cross my heart. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. That records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. Oh, oh. <laughs> Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. Here, we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. <laughs> Do you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm, though I suspect it can't detect much now. is the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Oh! <laughs> 
all. You won't find a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. The planet connects us, one and all. For everything exists through her. from the far reaches of time and space. To gaze at the stars is to gaze into their past, what they once were, eons ago. us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> a fascinating account. Were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado... Beginning. A shooting star! Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Soil so teeming with life that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? 
much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay. But does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance.
your faith in our great mother. This village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. If people everywhere resolved to not take her bounty for granted and offered up prayers of gratitude, no man, woman. Tell me. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? They are both one and the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. Who among you has looked inward? The seminar is in progress. Please be respectful. I've, uh... Always Please continue on into the assembly. Into physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he, he used to say it was a waste, me spending all my time indoors. According to him, a big kid like me was using twice as much spiritual energy as other folks. And I was a burden on the planet. But... What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long-forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. I'll see you at the festival.
I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? Felt for you. Never been that good with words, as you know. We're just two peas in a pod, aren't we? Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me, and Mom, and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. Wasn't listening. <laughs> you can be an asshole sometimes, but you're our asshole. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Yeah, I totally agree. What? Ugh, should have known better than to get philosophical with you. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients, or to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will, I've been watched, I've been ignored, even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. That's enough. Uh. <sighs> it's okay. I'll keep going. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy, even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even 
if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. It is time! <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Pretty sappy, huh? So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases me to know my that the River of Night possesses such power. Plus, my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. I pray Keeping them to myself is quite really a challenge in my old age. I'm glad to know that Aerith has friends like you to keep her company. We proceed. Uh, but I thought this door was sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes, and by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself and become a watcher of the veil, that is, I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. And off we go.
Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him? Why would I? I see. <laughs> From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him. Ah, you'll do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. Oh, oh, oh. Whenever you're ready. Ready.